Okay. Um, probably we start with the Master of Science Finance program first before we go to the Master of Science Financial Engineering. So first, let me introduce myself. I'm Paul Pichi. I am the Associate Director of the Master of Science Finance program. I'm mainly responsible for the international aspect of our program. So um, let's start with the overview of our Master of Science Finance program first before um, we going to listen about what the Master of Science Financial Engineering is going to offer to you as well. And today we also have alumni of our MSF program to be with us. He is actually the flexible a flexible ex student, basically, he graduated from our programs about two or three years ago, and now he's the fund manager at the UOB Asset Management Thailand. And we also have one more alumni from the Master of Science Financial Engineering as well. So upon they like, finish this section, you're going to uh, see the point of view of our alumni as well, you know, as well as the carry opportunities after graduation from our Master of Science Finance program as well as Master of Science Financial Engineering. Okay, so thank you very much uh, for being with us today. So um, let's start with the Master of Science Finance program first. So this is basically the questions that you might interested to know, right? Why it has to be Master of Science Finance program? You know there's many finance programs out there, right? So why it has to be Master of Science Finance program? So our program actually the first Master of Science Finance program in Thailand, we actually established in the year 1997, which is the financial crisis year, right? So now it's 2017 already, so it's almost 20 years already for our program. So basically, the curriculum that we offer is actually beyond the CFA and FRM curriculum. So upon finish our program, there's no problem at all in obtaining those kind of license that you might need for your work in the finance industry. So, and then basically, if, uh, you probably already know about that. Our program is actually accredited by European EPAS accreditation. So what do we mean by uh, this kind of accreditation? Basically, it means that the curriculum that we actually offer is up to international standard, right? So there's no problem at all. Like after you graduate from our program, you want to continue or further your study in the PhD level, or you want to work abroad. There's no problem at all because the curriculum that we offer is already up to the international standard, right? Plus, you know that our business school as a whole is also accredited by the WACSB as well. So this is actually a plus for you like if you study in our program. And actually, like, a number of our alumni, actually, they work abroad after, after their graduation, right? So um, the program that we offer, so we have full-time and the part-time program in which we call it as a flexible program. Tanakon is actually graduated from the flexible program, as we already mentioned, basically, right? So um, the class that we offer, so we basically, we offer the course that both theoreticals and the practicals uh, oriented course as well, right? So basically, like, you have a chance to learn a combination of both the theoretical and practice like, upon your study in our program. In terms of the faculties, we're going to show you later on, we have a list faculties, most of our faculty, actually all of them, they graduate from abroad in a very good university in the US, UK, Australia, in which we're going to show you the information later on, basically. Aside our own professor, we also invite visiting professor from top university around the world to teach in our program as well. So upon study in our program, like, you also have a chance to learn from the visiting uh, professor abroad as well. Okay. In terms of the class schedule, we have quite a flexible weekdays and weekend class schedule. Sometimes when we invite visiting professor from abroad, right, we're going to offer block course basically in which the course is going to finish within one or two weeks. Right? But in, uh, if you study in those kind of block course, you might have to come to study on the weekday as well. Right. So um, upon study in our program, you also have a chance to uh, experience the executive seminar. Right. We offer various of like executive talks, special lecture, like special talk, alumni talk, research in finance theory in various view of finance. So you update with both academics and recent development in finance all the time if you study in our programs. Right. And then you now sitting actually in one of the best like, financial lab like, in the region, I can say that in the region as well, we pretty much have access to all kinds of database that you can use to do your work or run the research. 
Right, basically, like we have like Bloomberg terminal, we have Reuters terminal, we have access to the BRDS data, basically, in which you can use those kind of data right, to do your work and uh, basically do a research right, upon your study and our program. Actually, this financial lab, we run the algorithmic trading competition in collaboration with the stock, of, uh, stock exchange of Thailand every year. Right? And we especially very good in algorithmic trading basically right so um this is uh, the things that you might interested to know as well this is the career opportunities after graduation we say that in the past our students work in the banking industry the most right but now basically for upon the recent data like we see the number of our students they work in the investment banking field as well right and also just the update data from Tanakon, like you saw a lot of our alumni that they work in the investment field right now today this is just the career opportunities like they can be the credit manager, risk manager, fund manager, like Tanakon, like corporate treasury, investment banker, including the private well as well. Okay, upon the graduation from our program. This is just the list of the uh, selected alumni. You can see that our alumni actually they like, work like domestically and internationally. We have some alumni go back to work in the US, some of them they work in Singapore for example after the graduation from our program. Right? These are just the list of our faculty. You see that most of them, they graduate from abroad in the top university. We have the professor who graduated from University of Chicago. Actually, one of them is with us, like Professor Nara Pong over there, who wearing the MSF cap. He actually graduated from University of Chicago. He teaches the economic co uh, econometric course for us, basically. And we also have like um, recent, grad, uh, recent faculty who join us, like Dr. Tanawit, he just graduate from Carnegie Mellon University. Right, so this is the, uh, the list of the A-list faculties that once you study in our program, you have a chance to learn with this faculty as well. This is the list of the visiting professor who we invite to teach in our program to give a special lecture or run the research in finance series from us. The one with the smiley face is the one that we invite regularly to teach in our course. For example, we invite Professor Russ Wormer from University of Maryland at College Park to teach the portfolio performance and attribution every year. We invite Steen Thompson from Copenhagen Business School to teach the corporate governance course. And we invite Professor Jürgen Huber who specializes in the uh, experimental finance to teach in our uh, behavioral finance course. His paper actually got published in the top journal, American Economy we will. Uh, he's very good in the behavioral finance field, basically. This is people from industry because we want you to have the practical aspect and up to date with the recent development in finance industry as well. So we invite these people from the industry regularly to teach in our course or do this special lecture for our students. Okay. Let's see in terms of the curriculum that we offer. Our curriculum actually advised by the group of advisory board that we have advisory board who we invite from the corporate as well as the academic right to give advice and oversee the developments of our program right we have Russ Wormer from Maryland College Park we have Professor Hillier from Satkai Business School sit in as our advisory board and we have Kundra P from the SEC who are also our advisory board as well so those people actually give an advice in terms of the first the developments of our programs, right? So this is the program coverage. Basically, the full-time program is the one-year program. The part-time or flexible program is two-year program, basically. Due to we actually accept students from various backgrounds, right? So we opted for some kind of preterm course so to ensure that the students have sufficient background when studying the real course with us, right? So students, they have to take core course, elective course, and they have to choose beforehand whether they're going to study under plan A project or plan B, right? Project, basically. The plan A student, basically, they have to do a thesis one. Most students who study in plan A, they have work experience less than one year, right? So if you have work experience less than one year, automatically you have to study in our plan A. This is the basic plan, basically, right? But if you have work experience at least one year or more, right, you can choose to study in plan B, which is the special project plan. What do we mean by special project? Special project is actually the mini thesis one, basically. So if you study in plan B, 
you have to do a, a special project plus you have to take a comprehensive exam. But if you study in plan A or D system, you don't have to do the comprehensive exam. Okay? So this is just the basic structure of our program. Okay? So mostly full time, which is one year program, okay? is the class on the full time program normally offers on the weekday. The class for the flexible program normally offers on the weekend. And we run on what we call a trimester basis. Okay? We run three academic terms per academic year. The first academic term normally runs from August to November. Second run from December to March, and the last academic term or the third academic term of every academic year run from April to July. Right, this is our system. It's basically different from our program. Okay. So this is the course credit. Basically, in order to graduate from our program, you have to fulfill 36 right, credit requirements. Right. For the one who choose to do a thesis, as I mentioned to you earlier, they don't have to take a comprehensive exam. For the one who choose to do a special project or mini thesis one, they have to do the comprehensive exam as well. Right. More information, you can look into our website. This is the list of the course that we actually offer. Right? More information about the course detail, you can always go to our website as well. And to help the student to fulfill their career goals after their graduation, we actually offer the specialized track, depends on your career objective. Right? We have the corporate finance track that student can choose. We have asset management uh, and investment track that student can choose. And the last one, if you want to, to work or interested to work in the risk management field, we also offer the risk management tracks as well. So for students to study in those tracks, these are the list of the course that we recommend our student to take under each track. Right, so that student can fulfill their career opportunities after their graduation. So it depends on your career path. Right? Basically, you can choose to study in those tracks to fulfill your career path. Okay? This is the timeline of the uh, course that we offer. Right? For the full time, which is the one year program, right? in the second academic term, you have to develop your proposal. You have to present your research proposal and defend the final paper in the last academic term so that you finish within one year. For the flexible program, basically, the first academic year, you learn all coursework. The second year, right, the first academic term of second year, you have the remaining course plus the comprehensive exam. And the last two academic terms, you have to fulfill all the research requirements, basically. Right, this is just the timeline of our program. For the facility, right, you already see this is the things that we have in this many university in the world probably don't have the financial luck like us. Okay. And this is all the financial data that you can get access to. Right? Once you work in the industry, of course, you have to get access to Bloomberg and Reuters. We actually invite people from Bloomberg from time to time like, to teach like, uh, about the Bloomberg, uh, training about the Bloomberg as well, so that you know or you learn how to use Bloomberg before you actually enter the job market, basically. Right? And these are the statistical and trading software that you can get access to like, once you are our student. We pretty much have everything that you need like, to uh, fulfill your career and learning objective, basically. Okay? And in terms of the activities that you can enjoy when you study in our program, we have pretty much activities that you can like, uh, join. Right? This is just the examples of research in finance. You see that every year we invite a visiting professor from the world-renowned university to run a research in finance series in various field of finance to us. Right? This is like, seen before 2012. Right? We do this even regularly. Right? This is the event of research in finance series in the 2016 and the beginnings of 2017. Like you see, we have like Paul Malatesta from University of Washington. Like we have like uh, with Ann Goyer from SKUST to uh, uh, give a uh, or to run a research in finance city for us. We have Ramo Genke from Simon Fraser University who talk about the algorithmic trading as well. So once you join our program, you have a chance to attend those kind of events. This is just the events that we hold like, recently in July. Right? We have Huber talking about the uh, 
experimental finance. We have the Goyo from SKUSD talk about the corporate finance field, basically. So this is the event that you can join after you are uh, entering our program. This is also the executive dialogue in which we invite the executive from the industry to share their view so that our students are up to date with the recent development in finance. This is just the examples of people who we invite from the industry from time to time. Right. This is also the activities that you can join. Right. We send students to participate in Rodman International Trading Competition every year. The Rodman International Trading Competition is actually held by University of Toronto in Canada. We form a team with the students from the Master of Science Financial Engineering and we go there almost every year. And we pretty much very good as we mentioned before in, in the algorithmic trading. Right. We used to won the award right, from the trading case basically. And this is also a study trip that you can enjoy. Like every year we bring students to visit the partner university and also the financial institution abroad. Like for example, we bring students to Gobe University in Japan, to Hong Kong Baptist in Hong Kong, and recently we just bring students to South Korea to visit Kai's University. Okay, so you can join this activity as well. Right? This is the things that we recently jointly collaborate with university in Vietnam called CFVT. Right? The CFVT is the university that's set up by ESCP Europe. Right? It's basically a top university in France and also the Paris Dauphin one. Right? We bring a group of students to take M&A course right? over there for one week and students just go there, study M&A course taught by professor from ESCP Europe and come back to Jula and they earn two credit course when they come back basically. They also have a chance to visit the financial institution over there. Right, in Vietnam, which is one of the fastest growing economies in the world as well. Right? So this is also the things that you can join as well. Right? We think about doing more collaboration with partner university. This is just one step that we try to expand our international right, outreach right, to incorporate international perspective to our students. Okay. This is fun activity, basically. Every beginnings of the first academic term, we bring students to join the outing trip. So this is the perfect chance for a student to blend with each other. Because actually, we also blend the new student with the current old student and also the alumni student as well. Right. So you have a chance to like learn more about our program, chance to blend with your friends and also chance to talk with the alumni from our program as well once you join these kinds of activities. This is pretty much also the things that you might be interested in. We are very active in promoting the student exchange program. Right? This is just the list of the partner university that we have quite a close connection with them. Right? We send number of students to those universities every year. Actually, we have more partner university like at the faculty level and at the school level, but this is just the example of the school that we quite have a close connection with them. Right? This is just the example of student that uh, we send to the partner university every year. This is just for the first academic term of last year. Right? We send student to uh, Luxembourg right? under Elasmus funding. Student actually got funding from those university right? uh, to help with uh, a certain expense when they study there. Right? We send right, student to Luxembourg. We send student to Hague Lausanne, Copenhagen Business School in Denmark, Frankfurt School of Finance Management in Germany. These are very good universities over there. Right. This is for the first academic term of 2016, and this is the second academic term, uh, basically not the second, the first academic term of this year. So these students, like, actually they are abroad right now at this time. Right. We send two students to Frankfurt once again in Germany, one to Japan in Kyoto, one to Aalto in Finland, one to Hankin in Finland, and two to Copenhagen Business School. They actually abroad at this time around. Right? So once you join our program, you have a chance to participate in our student exchange opportunity as well. And if you plan yourself well in terms of what course that you're going to take here, what course you're going to take at partner university, you can finish within the timeline. Because most of our students who join the student exchange program, they actually finish within the timeline. And most of them are actually the flexible program student as well. Okay? So, this is probably the things that you're interested in as well, like the tuition fees that you have to pay, basically. So for full-time program, the fee that you have to pay is the program tuition fee is 91,000 baht per academic term, plus 
the value edge called HP, uh, uh, 23,000 baht per academic term for Thai students. For foreign students, you have to pay more in terms of graduate college fee, but we actually have scholarship for foreign students as well. So those kind of scholarship allow foreign students to pay the same amount as the local student. Like if, uh, I don't know whether there's any foreign student out there, but if you're interested in our program, please feel free to come to talk to us for those kind of scholarship that we offer for foreign students. For flexible program, like you have to pay the program tuition fee for the 46,000 baht per academic term for six term basically, right? Because that is two year program. Plus the graduate college fee of 23,000 baht per academic terms, okay? So this is the information about the tuition fee. You can always talk to us like, if you have more questions about this one. This is actually the requirements like to study in our program. We accept students like with bachelor degree from mini major. Like basically, we have students that have engineering background, business background, and economic background come to apply for our program in every academic term. And you have to actually fulfill the English test score minimum requirements. You can take either TOEFL, like IL, or CUTEP. Like we accept the English score in various forms, basically. And you have to provide official transcript to letter of recommendation. And if you want to study in our Plan B program, you have to have at least one year work experience to study in those programs. Otherwise, you have to study in our Plan A. Okay? And for more information, you can always visit our website and also our Facebook as well. That's the platform that we try to connect to you to provide information that you need to know about our program. Okay? So that's pretty much about our Master of Science Financial program. So let's talk about more exciting program, more quantitative program, which is Master of Science Financial Engineering. Please allow me to invite Professor Sira, okay, the Associate Director of the FE program. Okay, hi. So uh, before I give you more information about the uh, MFE program, uh, let me show you some video clip as well uh, on the MFE program. Um, it will be a short video clip. mathematical techniques and computing tools in order to create financial innovations and to manage complexities in financial market. Our master's program in financial engineering provides a rigorous training. We draw first class faculty members and facilities from the business and engineering school at Chiragongong University as well as world-renowned faculty members from around the world in order to create high quality learning experiences for our students. GMFE program not only provides a strong foundation in finance theory, but also a comprehensive mathematical method and tools to formulate and solve finance problems. So enrolling in this program, student is able to enhance their competitive advantages in programming skill and financial modeling skill on top of finance theory. I had a degree in computer engineering and was interested in financial market. This program is a good combination of engineering and finance, and I can leverage my background to start a successful career in finance. I currently work as a portfolio manager for a European fund, and one day I'd like to create my own fund. And to do that, I enrolled in the MFE program. Because in the MFE program, I can improve my quantitative skills so I can find proprietary trading strategies I can use to add value to my clients. And I'll have a network of academics, which even after I graduate, I can use to help me keep up with the latest research. And that's why I joined the MFP program. Our curriculum focuses on fundamental and advanced theory and applications. We offer courses in finance, quantitative tools, and applications. Our program is quite flexible. Students can choose either a one-year full-time program or a two-year part-time program. 
and they can choose to do thesis or non-thesis option. Our students have access to a number of financial databases that can help them learn and understand financial markets. We also have a large number of standard and specialized computer programs and trading simulations. Our students can develop that trading skill and programming skill from them. The MVP program here is a perfect harmony between theory and practice. Dedicated faculty members, together with a strong, rigorous uh, program, help students to be well prepared in a very dynamic financial world. Even though I haven't graduated yet from my MFP program, I've already learned new skills which will allow me to do better in my job. For example, uh, a lot of the quantitative skills I have allow me to create new innovative trading strategies that will allow me to generate more profits for my company. I can give several examples in my classes. For example, in my algorithmic trading class, I learned new machine learning patterns which I can use to find new trading strategies and hidden patterns in the market which I can use to generate higher alpha. In my derivatives class, I learn new hedging techniques to manage the risk in my portfolio. And in my stochastic calculus class, I've improved my math to the point where I can read advanced PhD papers and understand and Im implement them in real life. And that's why even though I haven't graduated yet, I'm still able to use the skills I learned in class in real life work. We are looking for candidates with strong quantitative backgrounds who have passions for complex financial systems. Our students come from varied backgrounds such as engineering, mathematics, physics, statistics, accounting, finance, and economics. Our graduates went to many areas in financial industry such as risk management, derivative pricing, trading, hedge funds, mutual funds, regulations, and insurance. Okay, so that's a short introduction video about the uh, financial engineering program. Um, well, for those of you who are interested in the FE program, uh, we are actually a collaboration between the Faculty of Accountancy and Co Commerce and Accountancy, Kanabanchi, uh, and uh, the Faculty of Engineering at uh, Jula. Okay, so uh, we work together to bring this program to you and uh, some courses uh, you will uh, study with the professors from the um, you know business school from the uh, faculty of uh, commerce and accountancy and some courses uh, you will study with the professors from the uh, engineering school but mainly this will be your home okay you will study at the you will be a nisit banchi okay you will be a stud, uh, studying at the faculty of commerce and accountancy uh, mainly okay um, so, as you might already know, uh, the FE program is quite a specialized uh, program. Uh, we need someone who is uh, really, uh, you know, passionate or you know, fascinated about the uh, math model or computer programming. Okay. So the thing that you're gonna be studying from the FE program, basically, we're gonna learn finance. That's the most important thing. We're gonna learn finance. But also, we're gonna, you know, focus on the tools, the quantitative tools as well. So we have, to, you have to learn a lot about the uh, math model. You have to learn about um, stochastic processes. You have to learn about the uh, computer programming. Okay. Um, so if you have um, engineering background or science background or computer background, and you plan to switch to finance and you are interested in these fields in finance, uh, this is the program for you, okay? Uh, at this point, there are a lot of demands for, um, for professionals with uh, special skills, in quantitative skills in all areas of uh, financial industry. Whether you want to work uh, in the investment field, for example, if you want to work in a securities company, or if you want to work at banks, okay, 
or if you want to work at uh, regulators uh, like the um, um, SEC or the Stock Market of Thailand or, or the um, uh, Bank of Thailand, in all these institutions, uh, they will require uh, someone who have uh, special quantitative skills. Uh, so if you're interested in this type of job, uh, you know, this is the program that will prepare you for that type of job, okay? And um, actually, the professors that you're going to see in this FE program we actually, will be the same set of professors that you see in the uh, uh, MS in Finance, MSF program, which, uh, like Ajahn Ponpichia says, um, I can assure you that you know, we have uh, prepared, uh, you know, we have all the high qualities um, uh, professors from not only in, in Thailand, but uh, we invite visiting professors from top universities uh, abroad as well. Okay, so these are our um, full-time faculty members, and these are our uh, visiting professors. Uh, um, I mean, if you're in the uh, quantitative finance field, uh, you will immediately recognize uh, the names of these professors. They, they are very well-established and very well-known uh, in their field, okay? So we invite um, some of these professors who come teach uh, some of the courses uh, every year. Uh, okay. And uh, not only the professors, uh, we want to make sure that you have strong link with the um, financial industry in Thailand as well. So uh, we prepare seminar courses for you and we invite uh, practitioners from, from the financial field in Thailand uh, to come and you know, uh, prepare you with the uh, perspective so, so that when you enter the job market, you have their, uh, these per perspectives in mind and they're ready to enter the job market. And um, as you can see around you, uh, we are very proud of our facilities. Um, um, we can proudly say that this is uh, one of the best uh, financial labs, uh, not only in Thailand, but in the region as well. And uh, you get to use this financial lab a lot. Uh, um, it will be like your second home, okay? Um, and we have all the... Um, 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 financial programs, statistics program, databases. So um, yeah, again, this is uh, a cutting edge and, and, and really a world-class uh, financial lab. Okay, so um, why should you study MFE at Zula? If you uh, look at the um, top universities in the US, uh, you will see that you know, they're financial engineering program has been running for many, many years. So uh, this program is not, it, it's not something new uh, abroad. But in Thailand, I can uh, safely say that we are the only uh, program in Thailand who you know, truly um, teaches financial engineering at the same standard at, as the uh, top universities around the world. Of course, you might have heard about you know, uh, some other universities who offered financial engineering program as well. But if you look at the curriculum, um, uh, you will see that you know, it, it's, it's more like an MBA more than a, a financial engineering course. So uh, I can safely say that we are the only, one, the only university in Thailand who offer this type of, uh, of program. So it will be a very rigorous uh, training, okay? Uh, but if you are interested in this field, if you love math modeling, if you love computer programming, or if you love uh, um, statistics, um, and you want to apply those knowledge uh, to finance, um, you know, you will enjoy it, okay? Um, you know, some, some of our students who, um, you know, have backgrounds in engineer, they, you know, they are proud of their quantitative skills, but they want to switch to finance. Um, so. Their solution is that you know they 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 start to pursue this uh, financial engineering field uh, to so that they can apply the skills they already have in the field of finance. Okay. Um, so I will go uh, quickly here because uh, you know we still have we want to uh, we want you to have a listen with uh, some of our alumni both from the MSF program and MFE program and i understand that uh, you know all we talk about here this is a lot of information for you to digest right so um, 
I will go quickly at this point, but uh, I will encourage you that you know after the session, if you have further questions um, about the MSF program or the MFE program, I highly encourage you to approach Ajahn Panpichia or approach myself, uh, you know, for a question that's uh, specific uh, to you. Okay, so I'm going to go quickly here so that you get a, an overview, and if you have any questions, you can come to me later. Okay, so uh, we have both the full-time program and the uh, flexible time program. Um, the full-time program, uh, officially, it takes uh, one year to complete. Um, actually, it takes um, two semesters for your coursework, and the rest, it's your uh, special project or the thesis, okay? Um, some, well, most students uh, will take more than one semester to complete the um, special project and thesis, but if you plan, uh, if you plan carefully, uh, it is possible to finish uh, within the time frame. Okay, for the flexible program, the time frame is uh, two year. Okay, and of course, the um, study load for the flexible program each semester will be uh, lighter than the full time students uh, because you know the flexible students sometimes they they work at the same time as uh, as they study, so uh, we don't give them a lot of uh, study load. But for the uh, full time students, uh, we expect you to devote all your time to your study. So. Uh, um, each semester, you're going to take uh, a lot more courses, and the study load is going to be um, a bit heavier. Okay. Um, I just want to show you some of the um, successes of our students, our program. Um, every year, like Ajahn Pompichia said, we and uh, the MSF program and the MFE program, we form a team, and we send this team to compete in an international trading program uh, competition at Rotman School of Business in Toronto, Canada. Okay, uh, so this trading competition is a uh, is a very famous competition joined by top universities around the world. Okay, um, at first we are the only uh, school from Asia who send out our team there, and um, I'm proud to say that um, in the past. Our teams has performed very well at this competition, and you know sometimes we actually beat the top universities uh, in the U.S. So uh, um, almost every year we we beat top schools like uh, you know MIT, um, um, uh, Boston, um, Chicago, and even my own school, Columbia. We beat uh, um, uh, a lot of top universities. Um, uh, over there, so our students uh, they are very invested and very um, uh, very they have a lot of uh, uh, determination um, in this area and have and also in terms of the um, national level in Thailand, uh, we collaborate with the stock exchange of Thailand every year to hold this uh, algorithmic trading competition. Actually, next week, next week uh, we will have an algorithmic trading competition with the Stock Exchange of Thailand right here in this com uh, computer lab. Okay, uh, what is this competition? Well, this is uh, a competition that focuses on writing algorithms uh, with um, computer code. In this case, we use a, a VBA in Excel to write a computer code that sends. Uh, automatic order to trade the uh, stocks or trade the securities um, um, automatically, okay? So we have been running this competition with the Stock Exchange of Thailand for, I think, seven years now um, at this uh, financial lab, and it has been uh, very successful. So we have lots of um, uh, schools uh, and also lots of teams from brokers as well joining this competition. And, uh, you know, every year, um, a team from the MSF program and the MFE program finishes within the top three, uh, top three team uh, each year. Okay, so this is one of the areas that we are very proud of and uh, some of the activities that we want to encourage. If you uh, plan to join our program, I encourage you to uh, join this activity because uh, it is uh, really a good experience, okay? And, um, even though the MFE program is a very small program, so um, each year we, we accept uh, not more than 20 students. Uh, but when they graduate, uh, we usually have no problems with uh, the placements. Uh, 
most of the students uh, are able to uh, find jobs at the time that they uh, graduate, and uh, the type of jobs that they um, go on to pursue is very wide ranging. Uh, some of them uh, go on to pursue uh, jobs in the um, insurance company. Some of them uh, go to pr pursue a job in the security company. Some of them uh, pursue a job in, um, you know, uh, at funds or mutual funds. Um, so uh, at each of these uh, job functions, um, uh, there are high demands for people with the quantitative skills. So uh, if you want to, you know, increase your competitive edge, in your job searching, okay, uh, this is a, a program that you should uh, consider. Okay, so um, let's talk about the admission process a little bit. Uh, for the admission process, we, we're going to have uh, one more uh, requirement for our, um, for our applicants. Uh, in addition to, uh, you have to submit your English score, uh, just like any other program, right? But in addition, you also have to submit the um, a math score as well. You can use the uh, GRE subject test uh, uh, to submit, or you can, uh, you know, take the um, test that is administered by our own program, you know, at, at our school, uh, the QAT program, the quantitative aptitude test. Uh, so we require that. Uh, this is to make sure that you have sufficient background to study in, in our program, okay? Um, and, uh, you know, some facts and figures. Uh, most of the students in our program have these uh, background. So as you can see, uh, they are uh, leaning towards the quantitative background, uh, engineering, uh, science, uh, math major, uh, economics, um, if you know, if you're uh, have an economics background, and if your school, uh, um, you know, teach economics in a very quantitative way, then you know, you, I, I'm, I'm sure that you have a sufficient background for for this program. Okay, um, and uh, once they finish, some of them uh, go on to the industry, and some of them uh, choose to pursue a higher degree, uh, you know, a PhD program in in finance. So, if your uh, path that you plan is that you want to pursue a PhD in finance and if you plan to uh, get a PhD in a more quantitative field, uh, this will be a good, uh, good stepping stone for you as well. Okay, um, I think I'm going to uh, stop here so that uh, we have uh, more time to talk with our alumni from the MSF and MFE program. Okay, so and um, but after this, uh, I encourage you, like I told you before, to come speak to me or to Ajahn Pompishaya or to our alumni. Uh, if you you know, if you want to hear from the uh, former students, uh, you know, I think our alumni will be uh, more than happy to uh, talk to you as well. Right now, let me uh, invite our alumni from the MSF program to uh, come up here so that we can uh, interview. Uh, uh, them. Uh, first, uh, uh, Gon, uh you are the alumni from the MSF program, right? Thank you very much uh, for coming here today. Uh, why don't you uh, sit here, okay? And um, at the same time, uh, let me invite uh, Mr. Natawood, uh, our alumni from the FE program, uh, uh, to, to come up here so that we can interview. Uh, okay, so um, do we have an extra mic for uh, our alumni? Okay. Okay, very good. Um, I think I'll f start uh, by first letting them uh, introduce uh, themselves to talk about uh, your background before you join the program so that, you know, maybe that uh, it will be similar to some of the uh, audience who are sitting here. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, Tanakon, why, why don't you start? Uh, my name is Tanakon. Uh, I studied uh, MSF Flex 8 uh, last two years ago. Uh, prior to joining MSF, I am working as a fund manager at Tanachat Asset Management. Uh, I work as fund manager for around six years, and, and now I just, uh, after graduate, I joined the UOB Asset Management, and, and should be around 10 years now uh, for my working experience. Uh, and, okay, and now I am now I am managing asset under management around 20 billion baht and uh, working for private funds, mutual funds, and provident funds. Um, most of the time, at, you know, in, in everyday works, I, uh, I utilize the knowledge from the MSF 
is when you are talking about the investment process, it's not about only fundamental as a fundamental analysis. It's, it's everything. For example, when I manage a large fund, I have to consider market microstructure. Uh, when, when I have to uh, approach my clients, for example, Provident Fund, I have to work uh, and study the pension, uh, the pension asset management, for example, the life cycle, the, uh, the glide path, for example. Uh, this are knowledge that I utilize for MSF. Okay. And uh, Nat, uh, you, uh, could you tell a little bit about your background before you joined the FE program and why did you decide to uh, pursue a, an you know, so, FE uh, program? Uh, okay. So, so I would like to tell you a, a story instead. So, so I start out as an engineering student back here in Chulalongkorn University. During that time, during, during my, my, my year at bachelor degree, a lot of my friends keep talking about like they buy some stock and they suddenly profit by seven times. I'm like, what? Or some of them like they open the stock and left it for like a few months and they gain a profit by four times. I'm like, is, is this even possible? It's, it's got to be a scam, right? It's way, way too good. So, so my first impression about finance is like totally scam. Don't trust it. But I keep getting that, that story over and over again, basically because the market is still uh, in uptrend. Uh, the year is around 2011 or 2012, before the mountain Everest at 1,600 points. So yeah, one day I gave in. I think, why, why don't I just open an account and maybe experience some profit like, like my friends? So yeah, at that time, the, de the decision is pretty stupid, actually. I opened a TFX account first and, and you know, put all the filing and the day that, that my account is ready is on February 2017. That is exactly 1,600 points. As you know, it's like the highest point in the in, in Thai market which we just break. So yeah, after I opened my account, I, I began trading. The, the first contract that I opened is like PTT something, maybe H13. It go pretty nice for like two or three days, and then I start experiencing uh, a loss, and then I held back loose. Three months after that, I lose nearly like more than half of my portfolio. And it's not the case that my portfolio size is small. It's pretty large actually, but I keep losing and losing and losing every day consistently. Mm -hmm. So yeah, as I told you, that is a pretty, pretty stupid decision. So my friend told me to stop, and why, why don't I, I, I take a break and, and, and gain some knowledge first. So as a typical people who doesn't know finance, right, I go to a lot of seminars, buy books, go to courses, or even study from like online forums like Pantip. I do that for like four or five months, and I think, yeah, I, I should be equipped enough, enough to like start beating the market, which is actually Another stupid thing to, to, to believe that to be true. But looking back, I'm actually pretty lucky because I began to climb back up, back up, back up, but not so much, but even though I didn't lose more. One day, there is this uh, algorithmic, algorithmic trading competition hosted here in July, and I decided why, 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 when I joined them. So, so I joined them basically, and you know, with basic knowledge, I only know like fundamental and technical right, trade, technical trading. The algo that I make is like purely 100% technical, like you know, trend and moving average and all those stuff. And it turns out that it doesn't perform really well, unlike the first place, who like got a really good performance, consistent performance in every market condition. That point something strike my mind like. There gotta be something that I have never heard of, or it won't be possible, right? How could they keep getting a really good performance in every market condition? That is like, that is pretty much impossible. How 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 can they do that? Like, if I use technical, there gotta be some times that technical doesn't work, right? So, at at, at that competition, I talked to them, and uh, the thing that told me that they told me is that you will know about this technique one day. And I'm like, really? 
So, so I talked to him more and more and more, and I realized that he is the current student here at MFE program. So I think that there got to be something that this program provides, some new aspect outside fundamentals or technical trainings that allow him to beat the market consistently. So, so at that moment, I decided to join this, this program. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that would uh, bring up a very good point. Uh, if some of you think that uh, you want to study the MSF program or the MFE program because you want to be good at trading stocks in the stock market, then you have come to the wrong place. Uh, if, if you want that, you just go to the seminar offered by brokers. Okay? Here we teach you the, um, the theory that you can apply in practice. Um, you know, all the things in uh, all the uh, areas in finance, they're actually, um, you know, principle behind it, their theory behind it. Um, if you want to have a competitive edge, if you want to know this, then come to us, okay? If you want just to, uh, you know, trade stocks, then, you know, you just go to the, uh, uh, the seminar offered by brokers, and, you know, that's, that's all you need, right? Nahab. Okay, so uh, next question, Nahab, I want uh, to ask uh, both uh, Tanagon and Natawood to share the uh, atmosphere of or what it's like to study in this program. So maybe, uh, Tanagon, can you uh, tell all the uh, prospective uh, applicants uh, what it's like? Uh, is the workload, um, you know, very tough and, you know, what's the environment, what's your um, classmates are like and, you know, uh, what, 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 what do you do in this uh, program? Yeah. Uh, for the MSE class, uh, in, in my opinion, the MSF class, class. Uh, MSF class, the, the, uh, the, the course is quite tough, I, I, I admittedly, because I study at Flexible. However, uh, you might believe that the uh, for for most student that study uh, that, that study sometimes they, they don't believe that the theoretical knowledge is important to your study. For example, you may think that okay, fundamental analysis may not be important. Uh, most of the of the client that that win that win large profit may get it from technical analysis. However, uh, if if you work in 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 real stage in real practical stage, uh, you you start to realize that the knowledge that you gain from here are actually benefiting uh, in, in, your, in your career path. Uh, so the, the, the atmosphere in the class, I must say that uh, at the first time, I felt that it is quite tough for me because I felt that it is not, it is not useful at, at the first time. But after I, I, I learned it, for example, I, I studied the principal agent class. I, I do company visit. Uh, I, I met the management, and at that time, I, I don't have anything in my head. That is the time prior to my study, the MSF. But after I study the principal agent analysis, I now know, I now understand that who is the principal, who is the agent, and what is the benefi beneficial relationship between the owner, the manager, and us. So by applying the, real, the, the knowledge I get in the class to my practical uh, career, so I, I can... I, I now feel that it is actually benefiting and it helped improve and it helped improve myself in study a lot. Many students in, in, in the MSF class in the first, in, in the first two terms may, may not actually understand this, but as the time goes by, you must believe that the actual knowledge or core fundamental knowledge is important to your career success. And, and this is, a, it is a, my experience uh, found at the studying at MSF Another part is about trading. Uh, uh, you, 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 may, you may think that the, uh, the actual trading experience, uh, it is only bid and offer. However, in, in the, in the real, real trading session, there is about bid, and it's about a market microstructure. Uh, by, by, by learning deeper into this class, uh, you, you will be able to understand how the market moves, how the market reaction, and you will actually benefit from, from this, this class. Okay. And Nat, Nat uh, you want to share about the experience of studying in the MFE program in terms of the uh, workload and in terms of the uh, inv class in classroom environment in terms of the, your classmates? Uh, so in the MFE program, uh, there's no question the workload is really, really heavy and the difficulty is like really intense not designed for like the weak-hearted person. <laughs> but if you got the guts 
to pass through this program. I, I guarantee you it's really, really worth it because they not just train you in some difficult modelings, but meanwhile you also get to write some new codes. L like, like in my case, before I came here, I only know VBA, Excel. But during the course, uh, like, uh, like one of the course uh, taught by Ajahn Zira, uh, that course required me to code in MATLAB. However, Ajahn Zira doesn't teach MATLAB like at all. It's pretty much our job to go read documentations and re learn MATLAB ourselves. It will be pretty hard at first, but once you get this mentality, after that, learning new, new stuff would, would be really easy. Right now, I learn C++ myself, I learn Python myself, I learn R myself within like a month. Basically, you just need this mentality of like initiating the learning process yourself and then the rest will be pretty easy. Yeah, and I would like to add that uh, because that our admission process is uh, quite tough, both for the MSF program and the MFE program, you can be sure that you know your classmates, uh, you know they are, you know, uh, they are strongly motivated and they are, you know, uh, good students. Okay, and uh, um, of course, this program you uh, gain lots of friends, and you know they are lifelong friends, right? Because uh, when you go through a difficult experience together, you become very close friend, right? <laughs> so, uh, so that's uh, you know that's that's one thing that we can guarantee that it's uh, you know a, a very um, intense learning experience. <laughs> um, I think uh, lastly, I want to uh, ask uh, Nat first. Uh, now that you have graduated, and uh, Nat. It, it's a very special case that he scored lots and lots of interviews uh, from many, many uh, companies. I want you to share with the, um, your, your um, friends here about what type of jobs that you are interested in, okay? And, uh, you know, uh, yeah, the type of job that you aspire to and the types of jobs that you are interested in. Yeah. So the job that I'm interested in will be somewhere around like the quant trader or quant researcher. So basically the job that use quantitative techniques to beat the market or maybe like to, uh, to create the signals for like the trading teams. The, the reason I choose this quant thing, because as, as I told you earlier on that before this I know fundamental and technicals. And once I joined this, the thing that separate the losing team from the winning team of or basically the, the market loser, market winner, is that they have more tools in their arsenal. Think about it. If you were go, go, to, go to have a fight and you have like, you, you can pick, pick any weapon you want, would you pick only one or you would like carry them all and, and choose, choose it at, at the war zone, right? So the, 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 what, what I'm trying to say is that the thing that I get from here is like, the, tech, the, the quanti quantitative skill is like a whole new world, a whole new tools that I can use to trade, which is totally different from fundamentals and technicals. And this opened the gap that many people doesn't see, but, but the quant people see, and you will, you will be surprised how obvious it is that people doesn't know this. Yes, and, and that is a big opportunity that, that can earn you a good profit. Okay. Yeah, now I want uh, Tanagon to share that, you know, you are our alumni who, who we are very proud of. So can you share how the uh, MSF program has helped in your career? The, the MSF program uh, actually has helped in all, almost every aspect in, in my working experience. From meeting, meeting with clients, so before meeting with clients, you have to understand the wealth management system. So the MSF taught you about MSF, uh, it taught you about wealth management. And then after you meet a client, you open the portfolio, you have to specify portfolio objective. So this is also taught by MSF. After that, you structure portfolio. So this MSF also taught you about this process. And you have to go for risk management, for execution process, for analysis, for uh, fundamental, technical, quantitative, everything. So every, the, the part that I, I felt uh, uh, MSF helped me a lot is that it taught almost every aspect that I need in working in, in, in my field. And it's not about only just know, okay, this uh, is about the PE ratio, but I, I know it uh, deeply, for example, 
when you are talking about quantitative analysis, uh, you may think about only, uh, okay, it's, it, it is about a standard deviation, but actually this class talked about, for example, stationarity. When I'm working for artificial intelligence, I have to use the stationarity in, in my model. So I, 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 get the, I get the basic from MSF. No, it's not basic, it's just a foundation knowledge that I can utilize further. With, this, uh, with, with the strong foundation knowledge, I believe that the student that graduate from here can expand the knowledge that you need and you will be successful in this financial field. So yeah, as, as you pointed out, I think this era, the, the data science thing pretty much become popular, right? Uh, I think some of you guys probably heard about machine learning algorithms. That is one of the things that were taught in, in MFE programs. So if you are kind of like data science guy who want to work in finance, I strongly suggest you try out this program. Um, everyone have, at this point, I'm sure that all of you have uh, specific questions in mind that you want to ask. Nahab. I strongly encourage you that you know uh, after this you come talk to us personally. Um, we have right here uh, our director of the MSF program, Ajahn Ayurud. Nahab, you can come ask him if you have any questions about the MSF program. We have uh, Dr. Narapong, who's also the committee of the MSF program. You can ask him any question as well, and of course you can ask Ajahn Pon Pichia, or you, or you can ask myself uh, any question if, that you might have. Or maybe, uh, shall we take um, a, a few questions, just, just oh. in case you have? Because of the good thing is that when you ask questions, um, some other people, people also, also uh, know the questions as well. And then these two guys, actually, they are pretty much uh, very successful. Maybe they didn't introduce them as good as it, it should be. They are pretty successful. Maybe I didn't know much about that, but like Tanakon, he's the fund manager of um, Tanasha, and then now he used, uh, moved to UOB and things like that, pretty successful. And then they are pretty, pretty young guys as well. Okay. So uh, maybe let's take a couple of questions just in case you have. Could be in Thai as well. I'm sure they can speak Thai, you know. They doesn't look like, uh, uh, you know, Western that sort of much. Okay. So any, any questions at all? Okay, maybe one or two. Um, I mean, some, some of the questions that you are wondering, uh, I'm sure that other people are wondering the same thing. So, you know, uh, that might help uh, everyone if, uh, if you have any questions in okay, mind. Any, any questions at all? At all? Okay. On, okay, okay, go ahead. Um, which, which program are you talking about? Um, the MFE. The, MFE. Um, the work experience um, doesn't have to be um, about finance. For the MSF, the work experience does not have to be about finance either. Um, and, but if you have a work experience, that's even uh, any type of work experience, that's uh, good because you can choose to study Plan B. Right, and you don't have to do the thesis, you can do a special project instead. So the work experience can be anything that is unrelated to, to finance. This is a good place to go if you plan to, you know, switch your field uh, to the finance field. So in both the uh, MSF program and the MFE program, okay, um, there, the, the question is about uh, how do you uh, uh, come up with a topic for your special project or your thesis? Well, um, you know, some students uh, draw the topic from the classwork that they uh, do. So uh, maybe they like a specific class 
or maybe they are fascinated by some topics in class and they want to explore further. Some of them, uh, you know, go to that path to uh, to come up with a topic for their uh, special project. Some of them already have a topic in mind. So maybe even before they enter the program, they you know, have this uh, problem or they have this question in mind that they want to uh, answer. You can use that as your uh, special to uh, topic for your special uh, project or thesis. Some of you who are working have topics that come from your employer. employer. Um, so uh, maybe that at your company, you are dealing with a, a particular type of problems that you want to solve. You can use that as your um, 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 topic as well. So there are many ways that you can come up with a topic. But don't worry, uh, you have an advisor to guide you uh, through the process of, uh, of coming up with a topic. Uh, yes. So in the MFE program, we have scholarship uh, on merit-based. So on the uh, first semester, we, we don't offer a scholarship, but if you perform very well, if you got good grades in the first semester, the, you know, after that, uh, we have a scholarship, a limited number of scholarship uh, based on merit. Uh, so basically, we look at your, uh, your uh, class, classroom performance. And uh, for the MSF program? I don't think we have, unfortunately, I don't think we have. Yeah, just for foreign students. Um, yeah, just for foreign students. And then um, they're not uh, kind of like not paying the fee. What happens is that foreign students usually pay high fee than, than Thai. And then for us, it doesn't make sense. So we kind of refund the difference between foreign fee and then local fee. That's all to the foreign students. But for, for Thai, usually uh, we, we don't have scholarship. But if talking about fee, uh, mm, Basically, we have like some kind of teacher assistant and the research assistant in which you, you got some payment like as well, like in case you're interested to do, like you help like the professor like to do a research or something like that. We, we have those kind of scholarship. Yeah, actually lots of students uh, in the MSM program and uh, some in the MME program, uh, they got scholarship through their employer. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, you know, uh, our, our programs are, you know, have very good reputation with employers. So, so if you uh, are admitted to the program, uh, uh, you know, most employers are happy to sponsor uh, your, your study. And, you know, um, um, like, uh, yeah, just 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 to add a, just to add a bit from what he said, if you need scholarship, so usually there are kind of like two kind of scholarship. So uh, some scholarship are uh, a lot of a lot of scholarship given by bank, you know, like K Bank, S E B, Bua uh, Luang, and then so on so on. Some scholarship are pre-enter, means that you need to apply scholarship with them, and then once you study with them, they they fully support it. We are one of the destinations that uh, they want you study with. And then there are, so now that they are scholarship, uh, post scholarship, this is mean by only very few. Uh, best example, it's, it's Bo Luang, in which a lot of our students and then some of students as well, uh, secures every year in the past, in which they uh, pay backwards. They just want to make sure that you graduate from the program because of, uh, you might heard some of, some of our program is a bit, a bit tough, like this two guys said, but these two guys are one of the best actually. So when they're tough, this is mean, uh, mean tough. Okay, so uh, what, what, yes, yes. So what happened is that once you graduate, uh, if you get scholarship, once you graduate, uh, they pay you back what, what you paid to the program. And then, uh, for example, I don't know whether it's they're going to be in the future, but they have so many years already, they, they should, should be, in which they pay you a, a your tuition fee, your tuition fee, as well as they pay your monthly allowance as well, something like 16,000 baht or something like that, totally could add up somewhere around half a million or something like that. And then what you have to do is that you need to work doubles to what you spend here. Like if you spend here one year, you have to work uh, two years for them. And then the jobs that based on past students that they work, uh, they work in many kind of jobs. They did not work for, you know, like uh, credits, analysis, things like that. They work for, some of them go to work for IB, some do project management, and then so on, so on, different kind of work. Okay, so this is by Bolong. A lot of our students get every year. 
Okay, and then they pretty much interested in our student. I mean, they contact me every year in order to get me to advertise to you because they worry that you guys are not gonna, gonna go to apply, you know. I mean, yes, okay. Okay, anything else? Maybe one more question, maybe? Then, yeah, the last, so we still take questions afterwards, right? Particular, I think it's good to talk to these two. Okay, one more question. Any, any questions at all? Okay, go ahead. Man. Yeah, they can actually. Yeah, unfortunately, in the past. Yeah, but yeah, but actually, student exchange open open to everyone, including the FE student as well. And then we have like partner like uh, Wu Vienna, like University of Economic and Business, which is very quantitative one. Actually, you you can join as well, but you can contact me. Yeah, I can handle the uh, the one who want to go to. Uh, partner university for the MFE student as well, because I'm the one who's responsible for that. Yeah. Oh, opportunity is always open if you want to join. <laughs> okay, any, any questions? Okay, if uh, nothing else, okay, so uh, thanks to you guys for being here. Okay, and then, uh, and then uh, don't forget there are much more details on Facebook and and website, particular Facebook. So if you're interested in both program, it's good to to you know click a like and things like that. One thing that you get on Facebook, I think, to be honest to you, is that you can see the life of students here. I mean, uh, in MSF MLC, we put a lot of activities, events, and things like that on Facebook. You can see what it's actually like. Okay, what you heard from today is just a bit like presentations, but you can't feel it, right? If you want to feel it, so I mean, on Facebook would would be great. Okay. Okay, so okay, thanks so much for being here. And then if you have any further questions, we so you're welcome here. Okay, so uh, you know, have a good trip back home and then uh, enjoy your your weekend, okay, your your Sunday. Okay, okay, thanks so much indeed.